Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get information for unknown Bluetooth devices like this one. See, this is an example I'm talking about. So let's get started. Okay, so in order to get information for unknown Bluetooth devices, this first thing is go to the App Store and download this app called Bluetooth Inspector. This will basically gather every Bluetooth device around you more than your standard standard settings app can detect. Then you have to connect to them in order to get the information like this. But before you do, always turn off the automatic integration. That means it will not connect you automatically. So as you can see, it now connects now is showing me all Bluetooth devices around me, including my VR headset, the MetaQuest 2. But once this gets near 100, then I'll go ahead and pause the scanning so I can show you guys how this works. It's actually very impressive what I can do. 99, 100. So now I'm going to pause that. Now you guys can see I have it from all the devices around me, including my VR headset, the MetaQuest 2, which is right here. I got this for Christmas so the, for this year, and I love it a lot. So what I'm going to do is hit connect. Scan. Yeah, sometimes there's not enough information from the device in order to get information. That's totally normal. Sometimes it always scrolls me to the bottom, which I have no idea why. Now, what I'm going to do now is find another one, which should be one of the unknown ones here, which is this one. Oh, yeah, just like that. Now I get information about this unknown TV or an unknown device. I'm not sure which one it is, so unknown. So now what I can do is connect to an Apple TV. Connect. So sometimes this one does not want to connect. The second one will. Yeah, I have no idea why, but this app is being a little stubborn on me today. Okay, there it goes. So now you guys can see, I now have information about the Apple TV. Just like that, it's an Apple TV third gen. Just like that. So now I'm going to do another one. To make this a little bit easier, what I'm going to be doing is going up to the top and hit, hitting this button called, called Start Integrating. Click it. And now what this will do is connect me to all the unknown devices. When it says this, do not hit Pair. Do not do that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And as you guys can now see, I'm now connected to the devices that I'm that I've scanned for, including this un unknown iPad Air 4th Gen. See, this is one of the unknown devices. Now you guys can see I've got information like iPad 13 comma 1, the manufacturer, the Apple continuity number and all that. It's really impressive. Including my MetaQuest 2, I've got the info right here about my MetaQuest 2. Just like that. Including more like this number right here. So this basically for this is, app is not made for hacking Bluetooth devices. It's only made for getting basic info like these numbers here, the device model name and stuff like that. And I got a French about this unknown Apple Watch, unknown Series 5, and this unknown device right here, hit scan. Yeah, sometimes the unknown devices do not connect properly, including a printer, this speaker like type thing, I'm not sure what this is. You get all these numbers right here for like putting it to a coder to see what it is. You can even connect to a printer just like that. Okay, let me go ahead and stop that. Now I can show you that if I connect to my 13 Pro here, connect, scan, do it again. Sometimes that can be a little stubborn. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but the app can be very sticky sometimes. So I've gone ahead and disconnected all my devices. I'll do it again. And it's just like that. I've now got information about my 13 Pro, just like this. But the battery service and the current time service is only available for devices with the same iCloud account signed in. That's why it's there. This app is not made for hacking. It's only made for basic information. Alright, so now when I do my Tool Pro Max, which I'm using to record this video, you guys see, since I have the iCloud account, I got battery and all the other stuff, like manufacturer, the device, that code, and the continuity features, which is amazing. Now what I'm going to do is do another one, which is down here somewhere. And you see, I've actually gotten made information about all unknown devices, which is actually amazing. You can see, it even got information about my smart, my sleep number smart plug, just like that. It's quite interesting. So when I hit this device, 
Yeah, so some of these unknown ones do not connect for some reason. I do not know why, but it's quite annoying. Connect to this this connection right here. There we go. Now I've got information about this this printer, I think. I do not know if it's a printer or not, but it looks like it. So that's how basically how you get information for unknown Bluetooth devices. I'll do my home pods next. Home pod three. And just like that, I've now got information about my home pod three. I'll now do my home pod four. And just like that, my home pod four has now information. Now I'm gonna do one more. Oh yeah, there we go. My bedroom home pod already did it. So that is basically how you get information for unknown Bluetooth devices. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for the video. Peace out.